Hi, I'm Mara and this is your channel. I want to talk about films, movies and cinema in this channel. This is your channel. I'm not native and I can't speak English as well as you guys, but I try because I love um, cinema, I love art and I want to talk about it with you. So, be with me in this channel and guide me in this way. Did you see Hijack series? I saw it and I love it and I want to introduce it to you and talk about it. I, I like Adris Alba so much and uh, I love him in every movie, in every series um, such as Luther. Did you see that? The TV series Hijack was released in 2023 on Apple TV+. Plus. It is a trailer series that revolves around a plane hijack. Jim Phyllis Smith and George K. made it. Flight number KA-29 gets hijacked during its flight from Dubai to London. Is hijacks really a real story? The story includes a professional corporate negotiator, Sam Nielsen, who tries to save everyone through his skills. The gripping storyline makes the audience question whether the TV series is based on actual life incidents. Is flight KA-29 real? The KA in KA-29 represents Kingdom Airlines. There is no such airline named Kingdom Airlines in the real world, and it never existed, which concludes that flight KA-29 is not a real airplane. It's a fictional name given to a fictional story. Although fictional, the flight and the imaginary passenger do not fail to add tremendous step to the realistic situation. The fact that Hydrak is not based on actual incidents spellbound audience. To think that such a unique yet realistic story can be created is quite astonishing. The series' primary purpose was to create an impactful and memorable show, but the concept developed by Jim Field Smith and George K and the exceptional acting by Idris Elba sank deep into the mind of the viewers. The main focus of the series was to show how a person like Sam Nelson handles such a miserable situation. The goal was to make the viewers question their choices if they were in the situation. Jim Phillesman and George Kay's creative approach to trailer and innovative creation led the audience to question the originality of the show. They wanted to create a hijack based TV series that was distinct from the other typical hijacked or hostage movies. Hijack perfectly represents a hijack flight intense and trailing narrative, but it is important to note that the series is fictional and not based on an actual incident. This show challenges ideas, perceptions, and immerses them in a strong storyline, the perfect depiction of hijack and counterterrorism adds to the authenticity of the series. Hijack may not base on an actual life incident, but it captivates audiences with its realistic idea of a hijacking situation. But the audiences' point of view are different. Some people think it's good, some people say it's bad, and some people think it's average. Javier Stone 29 said, fantastic and compelling. The level of intensity, even in the slower moments, is always there, like a slow simmering. Well directed, acted, and excellently paced. 
He wants to ignore the Viners who state nobody would do this or that. Yes, I'm sure they would make every move a perfect one. Fact is people do and say the most incorrect things in any given situation hundreds of times in their life. It's called being human. Okay. It may be good, it may be bad, I don't know. I love Adris very much. Who doesn't like him? The guy is a legend. At the show starts, the acting is on the level and the tense starts rising. Unfortunately, it's quietly apparent now. It's full of exciting scenes and you can watch it for one whole day. I do it. You can do it uh, like me. <laughs> I think the progress of on uh, revealing the story is good and it can hold you to the end of the series. So you can see it and you can enjoy it. But uh, I didn't like the end of the uh, story when the uh, head of hijackers tried to kill Sam. Uh, I don't like it. I don't uh, understand it. It's not necessary to happen. Uh, it can be end better. Um, can you tell me what you think of that? Okay, thank you to listen to me and be with me. I hope the best for you and I hope you enjoyed this series. Thank and subscribe.